everybody what's going on what's going on did you guys miss me i hope so <laughs> look guys i have been away for a little bit only because i've been sick um a stomach bug went through our house and we all were a little sick and was was rough but i'm better now and i'm back right and today i have some exciting things to talk to you guys about some of you may already know what i'm about to show you but for the rest of you, I think it's going to be very, very helpful. So, let's get into it. We're talking today about your fit to the business analyst career, right? So in a video I did before where I talked about is business analysis right for you? I had promised in that video to give you something to use like a resource that could help you determine if business analysis is right for you. And I went through all of the different things that you should be considering in that video. And now, finally, I've been able to deliver on that. So I didn't wanna just give you guys a booklet or a PDF, something static where you just have to go through. It's, it's very boring. And you guys, you know me, I am not a boring person, okay? <laughs> and I bring life to business analysis and I bring, I infuse it with my personality. So I couldn't just give you a PDF like everybody else. I just can't. I just can't do the ordinary thing, okay? It has to be great. So I actually came up with this quiz, right? So I have this quiz or test that has a series of questions in there that's geared towards helping you uncover if you are a fit for the business analyst career. So I really sat down, I really thought through every single question and I came up with a full uh, 36 questions in all. And I didn't want it to be a yes, no kind of thing or this is correct and this is incorrect. I don't want that because nothing is really incorrect. It's really assessing how you feel about something or how this thing best describes you. So in that test, I came up with questions that were geared towards uncovering, you know, what your aptitude is, what your behavioral patterns are, what your innate uh, traits, right? What are you already doing? So to do this test, you don't need to have any business analysis knowledge. You don't have to know anything about this, the techniques that we use in business analysis. You don't need to know any of our knowledge areas. You don't need to do anything than what you're already doing today. And just based on what you're doing today, if you take this test, you can get a result to know if you're a fit or not. And you get the results right away. So I'm not charging you for anything. You know, I don't really charge people. I just like to give you good quality stuff. And then when I have my offers and that's a paid offer, then I'll charge you. But in the meantime, enjoy what I give you because <laughs> I'm not charging you for it, right? So you go, you do the test, you answer all the questions. There's no wrong answers. You need no business analysis skills to be able to do this test. And at the end of it, it's gonna give you a score. And the test is structured in such a way that I weigh it's weighted and it's scored. So the answers are weighted and then the end of it, you're, you're scored. And based on your score, you fall into different ranks. So you could either be um, a low fit. And a low fit means that you have some work to do there. Right? Your, your, your behavioral patterns are not totally in line with what we need as a business analyst. And so if you go into the business analysis space, just as you are right now, you're going to struggle. So there are things that you need to improve on in order for you to become a good business analyst. There's also a uh, fit. Fit means that you just made it. <laughs> you just made the cut, right? You're just at the borderline there. So you still have work to do. Good fit is where, yes, you're a little bit above the, 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 the border, right? But you still have some work in different areas. And then there is excellent fit. And then there's perfect fit. Perfect fit is... Great, and I'm going to share with you the model I used to come up with this. I came up with a model as well. And so there is already out there a competency model. There's a business analyst competency model. I think the IIBA came up with that. And that's great if you want to evaluate how good you are right now as a business analyst. This fit model is one step before that. This is what is your fit before you even get into being competent, right? I'm not even looking at your competence in the business analysis, knowledge areas. I'm looking at, do you possess just the behavior that's gonna help you with this career? 
right? And that's where I'm coming from with this fit model. So let's jump into my website and let me show you how to do this fit test. Okay, so here you are on my website and if you scroll down, then you'll see this little ad thing here that says, are you a fit for business analyst? So you can click on this to say, take the test. And that's one way you can get to the test. The other way would be to go to business analysis and just click on business analysis fit test. And between those two ways, you'll be able to access the test. So when you get on there, I have this model here that I wanted to stop and explain to you what's going on here. So based on my wealth of experience and what I've noticed working in the field for over 10 years, I have come up with these eight areas that I think are great for evaluating if you are a fit for business analysis or not. And that is exploration and curiosity, understanding the why, and that also includes a little bit of solutioning, like your problem solving skills as well, and finding reason and purpose. Um, and how, how you approach that. Communication and translation of ideas is also very important. Interaction with new people, reaction to change, working with ambiguity, attention to detail and documentation. So it doesn't mean that you have to be perfect in all of these things to be a fit. And that's why we have these kind of circles in the middle here. And that's basically saying, for example, to be just a fit, like just to meet the minimum requirements, you could be just matching you know having um exposure or you know aptitude in just half of these things right so as you can see with this black circle here it kind of disappears around the side meaning that it doesn't fully go all the way around because you've only covered half and only because it's a flat diagram it could be on any side it could have been half from this side or half from this side but the point here is to be a fit you don't have to really have uh you know innate behaviors um, conducive to all of these. Then to be a good fit is where you have a little bit of everything, right? You have a little bit of everything. Some things are more than others. As you can see from this yellow circle here, over here it's thinner than over here it's bigger. And that's what that represents. To be an excellent fit, you have a lot more of everything. Although some things, again, you're weaker in some areas and bigger and better in other areas. And to be a perfect fit, you have to be like just bombing everywhere like <laughs> you're 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 excelling naturally innately in all of these areas just by the way you you operate you just this is all how you are so that makes you a perfect perfect fit for business analysis i will say that the expectation to find perfect fit is very low and if you take the test you'd realize that very few people even come close to this and that's completely fine. I'm expecting that this is not, you're hardly going to find people who are just born business analysts. That's not going to happen, right? But it's just there because, you know, the model has to cover all the scenarios. But finding a perfect fit is odd. And so far we've had maybe like 200 people take the test. And I think there was one person who came close. Um, he actually made the perfect fit score by one or two points or something like that, right? So he was just a little bit over excellent fit. And I was shocked. I tried to reach out to him, but the email he gave, uh, it didn't go through. So I was like, how did you, how did you get perfect fit score? I was very intrigued, like, like, wow, <laughs> you know? So it is not my expectation at all to have anyone be a perfect fit. Um, but we've had definitely a lot of excellent fits and good fits and fit as well. What's not here is low fit. Uh, if you're a low fit, it means that, yes, you can still be a business analyst. You do have some traits that could make it conducive and you could be successful, but you just have to work harder at other things. And so that's not represented here, but that's another score that you could get. So once you, you know, once you decide to do this, you know, it's on the same page. You basically go through a bunch of questions and I have this progress bar that tells you how far you are. It's 10 pages long. Um, but don't be intimidated by that. People are going through this in, on average, I would say 20 minutes. So you budget 20 minutes of your day and you can run through this. Again, there is no wrong answers. And if you've 
you you know you're working on a, a question and you don't want to an answer right now you can't think of an answer that's what this flag is for you can click on a flag and before you submit at the end it will remind you that you haven't answered these questions so you had a chance to revisit them before you actually submit so that's really how the fit test works um again i think everybody should just come in here and do this. It's also a great way for you to think about yourself, right? It forces you to really evaluate yourself and say, what am I, what best describes me? You know, you might not have thought about that before, but this is going to force you to think through that. So um, just wanted to share that with you. I'll also share with you what the results could look like. I'm going to share that with you now. Okay, so here is what the results um could look like and i've just cut this from an actual sub person who sub submitted their their test because i don't want to reveal their email or even reveal my email so uh i just put it in my snipping tool right here so you get a result that says how much you scored out of the total 360 points so you scored 283 points out of the 360 and uh, this person had zero unanswered questions. Some people score lower because they've missed out questions. And that's where that flagging I thought was helpful to remind people to go back and check because I didn't want you to get a low score because you missed a question. I didn't remember where it was that you missed it. So at least here will tell you if you missed anything and it gives you a result. In this case, they got a excellent fit result and I gave a basic summary as to you know why they got that result and then they have the option to click on this show me next steps uh link and that takes them to another resource page um let me show you that real quick yeah let me show you that too <clears throat> right so when you, you click on that show me next steps i take them to this page and basically it's just resources okay so yeah you're a fit now what right and it's basically saying you now know that you have within you behavior that's going to make you likely to be successful as a business analyst what do you do with that information right and so if the decision that you're going to make is okay i want to transition into business analysis or i'm just going to be starting my career as a business analyst then great then i want to provide you with some of the steps that you can take and that includes updating a resume right i have several videos on how to do that and i also have this free template on my website you can go download a business analyst template and you can tweak your resume to kind of uh, match a business analyst resume from that resume template or you can also start by um just looking at jobs i mean it's it doesn't hurt to understand what employers are looking for so you can go to this list of ba jobs now this is really a list of jobs from from linkedin and it's for the us so if you're outside of the us then you'd have to find another place where you can easily find jobs or you go to linkedin and you change the the location to wherever you are okay then you get a copy of the job market report this is a report i'm coming out with shortly this is going to be launched this month um actually within a couple of weeks and that would be the state of the business analyst job market what are employers asking for what tools are they asking for where are the jobs of business analysts um what's the salary like all of the questions that you are having about the job i hope to answer those in this job market report and that will be coming out soon um also get the babak guide this is just a standard something that every business analyst should have on their on their library at home and just it's just a, a book that you need to know the techniques in there. Um, I do have some reservations about the Babak. I think it could be very much improved in terms of how useful it is and how practical it is. It feels so much textbooky. And even though it's a guide, it's not necessarily the exact practice because it's not an exact science. I still feel that we, you know, the IIBA <laughs> needs to do some work on making the Babak just more applicable. I just feel like it, it's 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 great for passing exams, and that's it, right? Um, you learn the techniques, but you don't really apply them. So we just need ways, or maybe it's more more case. I don't know. We need to think through how can we make the application, the practice of business analysis easier to understand 
with these uh, resources that are being published from these organizational bodies. So anyway, we have that. So go find it on Amazon. Still a good resource to have, still a great book to have. You should have one if you're a business analyst, so I still recommend it. Um, then you watch some of my free courses, and I would suggest you start with the BA Beginner free course. That's also here up under courses, free courses, Absolute Beginner's Guide to Business Analysis. That's what you should be watching if you're just starting out. Or if you, you know, you're already transitioning and you have some idea what business analysis is and you want to just get into um, more <laughs> advanced stuff, you can just pick any of these other courses that's out there. Or you do a paid course. You know, sometimes you need to spend some extra money to get the, um, maybe the personalized help that you want. Um, I'm going to be coming up with my paid course and I know, <laughs> I know I've been saying that for a while and I am coming out with it. It's just... One, I'm hoping to get it certified, but I'm not, probably I won't wait for that. And two, maybe it's a little bit of obsession with perfection. I want it to be that good. I want to make sure it's quality. I want to make sure, like, not just the content, but the delivery of it and the tech and the, like all of the different things that goes into having an online course. And it's going to be live as well. So it's not just, I don't want to give you a course that you only can take online and you never get to interface with me. I feel like, we're, we're all kind of burned out with online courses. And I, I want to help you. I don't just want to give you a course and leave you out there to just figure it out. I want to help you and I want to give you a personal touch and I want to, I want to get feedback from you, answer questions for you and help you to be successful. If my course doesn't have an impact on you, if my course doesn't help you to get there, I feel like that's my mission and I would not have been meeting my mission. My mission is to help business analysts, business analysts or aspiring business analysts to understand how to practice business analysis, right? Not to pass an exam, not to, you know, just get certified, but how to practice it, how to know how to do the job. I am 100% for learning to do the job. And I'm also 100% against learning just to pass an exam or get certified. It's, it's, it's complete polarity with me. I'm not trying to get you to pass an exam at all. I'm not trying to get you certified at all. If you get certified, that's great. But I want you to feel confident when you're done with my course that you step into the job and no matter what they throw on your desk as a project, you're not intimidated. You, you, you see it as something that you can just start working on. You know where to start. You know all the steps you need to take and you can start applying the steps I'm going to share with you in my course, right? And it's going to, it's going to really revolutionize the way you think about business analysis because so many people get into the job and they have to stumble through it to figure it out eventually. We're all stumbling through it. How about if one of us stumble through it and tell us where to, where to put our foot for the others to know where exactly to step? <laughs> you know, what if I showed you that avoid this and do this? Do you, can you imagine what that would do for your life and for your career? You know, so let, that's what I'm trying to do. And so, but I get it though. People are waiting on this course and I need to get it out there. Um, so yeah, the year, uh, we're now in April. I'm definitely not going to let the middle of the year hit me without this thing being out there. I'm, I've actually given myself a deadline and I'm going to stick to it. So that's coming. Um, so yeah, so this is the page that shows you all the different things you can do. And if you, you know, while you're waiting for my course, it's not out there yet. Here are some other Udemy courses you could take. And I'm putting Udemy in particular because they always have discounts and, you know, they're always doing something that would help you to get access to the information at a, at a cheaper price. So uh, you can look at, look into doing that as well. So these are all the steps I think you can take to take the, you know, to get to the next level. Once you've done the fit test, you realize that you're a fit. Um, take the next step. If you found that you are low fit, maybe there is some other things you need to do. I mean, everybody can benefit from these results here, regardless of what level of fit that you, you end up getting as a result of your fit test. And then there is the book a call. So I've launched this recently where you actually can uh, send me an email if you need like personalized help and explain to me what it is that you're trying to get help with. And I will um, actually allow you to have an appointment with me and you can talk about it. I've done a few of these now and I've actually put this on my website. So here, and this is going to be regardless of which page you're on, you can schedule an appointment with me 
And that's going to be a way to get personalized one-on-one -on -one consultation. So that is obviously going to be a limited time. So if you want to do that, you have to, you know, be quick about it, <laughs> right? Because the spots are filling up really fast. Uh, I think when I when I first launched the fit test and people went to this page, I actually got like three apartments within one hour of launching this thing. So <laughs> just to show you that people are very, very anxious to just get personalized help. They want to talk to someone. They want somebody who knows what they're doing to explain to them what they need to do. They want to get that their individual questions answered. And so I'm, I'm completely fine with doing that. It's just finding a time on my calendar might be the challenge. So you go to schedule an appointment. You're going to pull up my calendar. You pick a time when I'm available and, uh, you'll be able to do that. It is at a cost. This is, a, this is one of those things that I do charge for, right? Because time is money, right? So that's going to be at a cost. Um, actually it is at a cost. So you're going to have to, uh, pay for this one. But I am providing so many other free resources that if you don't, you're not able to do that right now, you can find some other resource that's still going to help you to get to the next level, right? I want to help you. That's, that's my aim. I want to help you. I want to build this business analyst community to be helping each other, right? In our areas of, of, of expertise, in our genius zones. And, um, there's going to be some other offers I'm going to announce shortly. So this is the first one I'm announcing, which is my one-on-one -on -one consultation offer. Um, and so go check that out, find a time on my calendar. If you need to speak with me and get a consultation with me and, uh, that that's all automated as well. So you, once you click on the schedule an appointment, you'll see the different offers that I have. I'm probably going to do a video on what those different offers are. Um, and then you pick a time on my calendar. There's a payment, um, part of it as well. You make the payment. It comes through. I see it on my calendar. And so, yeah. So anyway, I don't want to talk too much about that. This video is about the fit test. So come in here, go do the fit test to find out if you are a fit for business analysis. And I actually, I've had only a few people who have taken the test. have actually come out as a low fit. That's it's probably less than 3% of the responders are low fit. And that's because I found, um, as a part of the test, I ask what level of business analyst you are. And I found that a lot of the business analysts taking, a lot of the people taking this test are actual business analysts who are already experienced and they want to validate if they made the right career choice. <laughs> right. So I have a lot of, um, existing business analysts taking this test. And that could be the reason why there is a lot of good and excellent fit coming out of this fit test. Um, there's a few people who are just leaving college who have taken the test as well and they've gotten fit and good fit. So it's really people across the board, people who never even heard of the, the career, don't know what it is, have no idea, but they get in here and the test is so easy to start. I mean, it's asking you like really, really everyday questions. So it's not like you have to have any knowledge, like I was saying before. So people are very, very intrigued with it. And it does give you a good chance to think about yourself, understand what you are good at, what you're not good at and what best describes you and think through yourself, <laughs> right? So I encourage you all to come here, do this fit test and see if you are a fit for business analysis. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. That's the business analysis fit test. Go to carolise.com and do the test and see what your grades are and see what you need to improve on. Unfortunately, I can't really tell you what particular area of the fit model that you're weak in. I don't, I'm not able to narrow the results to that level. I wish I could. I'll probably keep researching to see if I can, but it just tells me generally what your score is and um, how you compare to others. So that's already shown there. So go to carlis.com, check out the free test, like and subscribe and, you know, leave a comment on this video. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.